everyone, welcome back to the Aerial Media Pros channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at balancing the new Ronin S with our Canon 5D Mark III. Um, it's gonna be a pretty heavy setup compared to some of the mirrorless and other even smaller DSLRs out on the market right now, but we wanna make sure we can balance some of the heavy stuff as well as some of the small ones. So um, let's start with the mounting system. So on the bottom here, we've already screwed this in. Um, depending on the weight of the lens that you have, you'll obviously want to make sure that this is shifted enough to where it's not hitting anything um, once it gets mounted in here. But uh, we just kind of have it on the back here because the lens is really heavy. So we put that on the back all tight. You want to make sure that the arrow on the bottom is facing the back of the camera. So the reason for that is because you have an arrow on this side here that's going to be sliding in. So let's go ahead and match those two here. This is going to be the front of it with the two power ports. That'll be the front of the unit here. So go ahead and slide that in. Oh, it doesn't slide in. That's because it's not unlocked. So we need to make sure that it's unlocked and then we can put it, slide it in here. Make sure you can see this. So slide that in. And then just hold on to the left hand side here just so that you can get an idea of where it's falling if you were to let go. It will always catch with, uh, there's a catch release here on the side, but you just wanna make sure that uh, you're just holding it securely so it's not sliding around too much. Get it close because we're gonna have to come back here later when it's all, uh, when we go to the last balancing. Here we go, I'm gonna go ahead and lock that there. So it's close, if I let go, it doesn't really move much. That will change as we change some of these other settings here. So right now, the second one is going to be on the bottom here. So we'll flip this up. So you can see on the bottom we have this tab, so we'll unscrew that. And the suggestions that we actually got from DJI is for this to be all the way to the left, closest to the motor. So push the camera over to the right. My left, and tighten that down. All right. Then we wanna take the camera and turn it on its back. And we're gonna be adjusting this here. This is the tilt motor, so you wanna Unscrew that, put it on its back, and if, it's, if it falls forward or falls back, adjust accordingly. What we're looking for here overall when we're doing the balancing is so that it's not um, coming straight to center. That's, you're looking for it to actually, wherever you put it, it's going to stay in place. So you're not looking for a, it to come down to center. You want it to stay, if you let go, you want it to stay on every axis here. So. Looks like it's coming forward a little bit. If I let go, you can see that. So I'm gonna be pushing it up to get it out of the way and push some of the weight backwards here. It's almost all the way to zero on the bottom for this camera at least. All right. So if I let go, everything stays in place. Go ahead and tighten that back up. All right, so you can see here, just on these two axes at, at least, if we move the camera, it should stay in place. So you can go ahead and just hold this motor. And it's really close. Obviously that will change with the direction of the camera, but overall it seems to stay in place rather than falling any particular direction. So now that I let go, we see that it rolls to the left here a little bit. So I'll turn this around. This will be your roll adjustment. Unscrew that, and we're going to the left, so we want to pull some of the weight this direction. This one tends to be, as you go further, there's more camera weight and more gimbal weight on each of these adjustments. So you'll notice that they're a little bit tighter as you get closer to the handle. As you make these adjustments, make sure that you're not holding the, the motor itself and, and pulling these arms in order to adjust them. Make sure that you're holding the actual where it clamps to here so that you're not actually putting any pressure on the motors themselves. 
So that looks good. Go ahead and tighten it down. All right, so we have, it may have adjusted some of these other ones, but it looks pretty good. So up, down, the roll. It's pretty, pretty locked in already. All right, and the last one is going to be, this is probably one of the harder ones, just because of the, the way that it sits on the frame here. So we want to be able to take the weight off in order to move it, but the way that you test it is by turning it on its side. So I'm going to turn it on its side, and if it falls, so it falls forward, see that? If it's falling forward, then we need to move the weight backward. So we'll need to hold it like that each time to test it and adjust. The good news is once we have this balanced, all you need to do is mark your mount here, and you can dial that in really quickly so you don't have to do this every time. Anytime you change or let's say you're adding an audio setup or lighting or anything like that to the rig, um, you will have to change, or the lenses, of course, are going to change the balance. But for the most part, if you have the same camera setup, all you have to do is put it to the right dial here, and you're, you're ready to go. So... And check this one more time. Still seems like it's going down. Like I said, this could take the longest. Just make tiny little adjustments to it. Instead of trying to overcompensate. Oh, we we're so close. Perfect. So anytime we adjust these other axes, starting from the top all the way to the bottom, it's going to start to move the, the weight around. And so what Usually I'll do is I'll go through once and then go through another time or maybe even two times just to double check and make sure. Um, and what that's going to do is I could probably operate with it balanced the way that it is right now, but you're going to save power and you're going to save uh, any sort of tension or um, anything that could happen to the motors overheating because they're working too hard. Um, this is a pretty powerful system. Um, they've, they've carried some pretty heavy cameras on this. And so I don't doubt that it's, it's going to be able to hold it balanced or in place with the horizon. But overall, we want to take that pressure off the motors to make sure that we're taking care of our equipment. So I'm just going to double check here, just see if I can make some minor adjustments to really refine that. And then we'll power it on. It should be good to go. So I'll just kind of put it in different positions because you want it to be balanced each place. That looks really good. So let's just go ahead and turn it on here. Power button's on the side. Press once and then hold for three to five seconds. There we go. If you get any vibration um, from the motors or anything seems like it's um, shaking, then you'll need to go into the app or even on, if you have the screen here, and adjust the, uh, the gain on, on the motors, which will be your stiffness setting for each of these different axes. So you can adjust that there. But that's it for balancing. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or visit us at aerialmediapros.com. Thanks so much for watching.